Good evening, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. This is Rich again, back for your third and final video blog of the night for Saturday, October 10th, 2015, around 7.29 in the evening, Belwick, Massachusetts. It's, it's going to be a little bit of a frosty night tonight, and a frost advisory is in effect, so bring your plants in and stuff. It was a nice day. Very taste of fall. Well, it's actually fall and stuff. And some of the leaves are starting to change and stuff. But we have not reached peak color in in the, in this area of New England yet. Some news to report. Wake Forest beat Boston College football team today at the Heights by the score of 3 nothing. Wake Forest only got a few old goals. Probably it was a, a defensive battle, you know, defense and stuff like that. And the Boston Bruins are playing the Montreal Canadiens right now. And Chicago Cubs facing off against St. Louis Cardinals Game 2 of the National League Division Series. Later on today, tonight, it will be the Mets versus Dodgers at 9.07 on TBS with Ernie Johnson and Ron Darling and Cal Ripken Jr. and Sam Ryan calling the action. Maybe Charles Barkley and Kenny Smith and Shaquille O'Neal will drop by. That's about it on the news. My third and final video blog of the night is my personality profile. Tonight's personality profile is about NHL Commissioner Gary Bettman. Gary Bettman has been the first commissioner of the National Hockey League since February 1st, 1993. It's going on his 23rd year on the job. Gary was born and he was grew, grew up in the Queens, New York. And he's Jewish and he went to Cornell University studying industry and labor relations and he also studied law. And then after he graduated from Colton, Cornell University in 1974, he went to the New York University School of Law and he got a, received a Juris Doctorate in Law in 1977. Then he went to become a lawyer in New York City for about four years from 1977 through 1981. Then he worked for the NBA for about 12 years, 1981 through 1990. D3. He served on the NBA's General Council and Senior Vice President, and he actually eventually became third in command in the NBA. He, he worked on the, created the NBA salary cap in 1983, which, you know, is still used today and stuff, and he helped was one of the leaders who helped NBA grow from a sport that was was just in such in shambles, almost going out of existence to a worldwide leader in bat in sports and stuff like that. And the NHL was looking for its first commissioner in 1993 after like um, John Ziegler fiasco and then Gil Stein. And they looked in the NBA and Gary Bettman was interested in a job in the 26 owners of the NHL named them the first commissioner and he's been on the job since February 1st 1993 and since um, Gary Bettman's been commissioner of the NHL he's kind of tried to NBA size the NHL with a lot of marketing opportunities and stuff plus he grew the league from 26 teams to 30 and he's could be could be 32 also, he's expanded the NHL into the southern United States. It's some franchises in Dallas, Phoenix, Anaheim, Florida, um, Carolina, Nashville, and others. And some of it has been success. Some of it has not been successful and stuff like that. Also, Gary got... The NHL, a, a big TV deal for the United States starting in 1995 with Fox. Before the NHL did not have a major television deal with an over-the-air network. They had to rely on ESPN and stuff and cable networks. And he got it for Fox. 
and eventually it, for ABC and ESPN 1999 and then NBC which currently it brings over millions of dollars for the National Hockey League and stuff like that and Gary's been very successful with like the with like the NHL with the, the Olympic Games and stuff since 1998 every winter Olympic Games the NHL shuts down for two weeks and they the players represent their countries and stuff like that but the one thing that Gary Bettman has not avoided during his com time as commissioner lockouts since his watch the NHL has had three work stoppages one in 1994, one in 2004, and one in 2012. One in 1994 wiped out half the season and stuff. The second one in 2004, the league shut down for one year, which was awful and stuff. It was the first North American sport to miss a season due to a labor start stoppage. A lot of money was lost and stuff careers ended and stuff and the nhl took years to recover and stuff but he got the salary cap for the owners and stuff like that something he did with the nba years back a hard salary cap and the like nhl revenues grew since and stuff like that but they avoided they had they had another work stoppage in 2012 because of like problems with slow salary cap and it wiped out half the season as well and stuff like that and uh, there's a lot of pe people who think like Gary Benton is kind of trying to Americanize the games and stuff and with like region trying to expand again to 32 teams with like Las Vegas and Quebec City and stuff and so many rumors that several U.S. franchises like in the southern United States having financial problems that he and there's rumors that he's like keeping them in those markets instead of going to like northern U.S. cities or Canada and stuff like that that he's, he's anti-Canadian but these are just rumors my friends and stuff there's no truth to those and stuff Gary's really done pretty good job with the NHL like and growing the game and stuff like that and some people criticize it's he's kind of t t um, NBA size in the NHL but hey he came from the NBA and stuff and maybe it's working maybe it isn't but he's done a great job to 23 years as commissioner in the National Hockey League and he might be on the job for many more that's about it on him that's about it on these video blogs for tonight Tomorrow, you're going to get three more video blogs. First video blog will be about the top 10 worst world champions in professional wrestling history. This covers AWA, WCW, NWA, and WWE. Second video blog is going to be a review of the classic 1985 sci-fi comedy movie, Back to the Future Part 1. And on the October 20th, that's... I'm going to review, review Back to the Future Part 2, that's the data Doc and Marty went to 2015, and definitely the week after that will be Back to the Future Part 3, and the third and final video blog tonight will be about Hockey Hall of Famer and New York Rangers legend, Brad, I mean Roger Brad, Brad Park's personality profile will be Monday, coming out and a little later on this month will be my reviews of um, WCW, um, Halloween Havoc. I'm going to review all 12 of them. That's coming a little later on in the month. Plus, the great pump. It's great pumpkin. Charles Lee Brown review. Keep calm, everybody. I'm a Julie Brennan guy. Molly Rosenblatt, Fox 35 Rocks, and it's nice life. Amy Swinsey, so, so stunning. The love of the heart's the best. Heidi Pratt has the nicest legs in the world. And in the words of Charlie Brown, I got a rock. Goodbye. See you later.